Beat Studio 4. I'm going to tell you what you need to know. Hi guys, welcome to Man Discovers Tech. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about the Beat Studio 4. So I guess you're interested in buying some Beat Studio headphones right about now. I guess some of you are deciding, should I buy the Beat Studio 3 or should I wait for the Beat Studio 4? But no one seems to know when they're coming out. I'm gonna make this decision easier for you today. Now it's very important that you watch every single part of this video so you can understand all of the facts before you make your decision. First of all, Beat Studio 3. What were the good things about these headphones? Now I reviewed the Beat Studio 3 in 2019 and then I reviewed them again in 2020 and I reviewed them in a new color, the Decade Edition Defiant Black and Red. Overall, I thought they were a pretty decent pair of headphones if you have some specific needs. First of all, I like the design. There aren't really many headphones out there that you could say are as fashionable as the Beat Studio 3. What's your favorite color? Defiant Black Red is my favorite color. The other thing I liked about this headphone was the battery life. It's not the best, but it's definitely very far from being the worst. Beats promise about 30 hours battery life, which is more than you need. You put the charger in for 10 minutes and I think you get about three hours uh, playback time as well. So you won't find battery a problem with these. Sound quality was okay as well. What was good about the sound quality? First of all, I thought the Beat Studio 3 had a decent level of balance actually. Now I've tried Beats headphones in the past and traditionally they've always been really bassy way too over the top to the point where you just get treble you get bass and you get nothing in between and it just doesn't sound very realistic i have to admit when i heard the beat studio 3 i was very surprised because i was expecting a very bassy set of headphones what i heard instead was a pair of headphones that had quite a moderate level of bass actually less bass than the sony headphones that i compared them against the 1000 xm3s now that's a good thing these have less bass than that the sony 1000 xm3s i think have too much bass to the point where music does not sound natural don't believe the other reviews you hear on youtube where people say these headphones have no bass because that's not true at all no bass no bass ironically <laughs> you would think that these had the, would have the most overstated bass but it's not even like muddy and overpowered no. it's just there's just really nothing there <laughs> The other good thing about these headphones is that they have a fairly comfortable level of treble roll-off. Treble roll-off means at the very highest frequencies, they get turned down gradually. Because these headphones are on your ear, it's right inside your ear. So if those trebles aren't turned down a little bit, it, you can get ear fatigue and that's not very fun. At first, they might sound good, but after about 10-15 minutes, you're probably going to take these headphones off and you're going to have an earache. Noise cancelling. Now these are noise cancelling headphones. Yeah, I think they were okay. They weren't the best noise cancelling. I did compare it to some other headphones and these weren't the worst, but they definitely weren't the best. When I compared these against some other headphones in my plane simulation, I thought these were actually okay. Now, if you wanna know more, make sure you check out my Beat Studio 3 headphone reviews. I have an entire playlist dedicated to it. Go and check it out. You'll find everything that you need to there. So how can the Beat Studio 4 improve over the Beat Studio 3? Well, there were a few areas where the Beat Studio 3 could have been a bit better. More transparency, more detail in the headphone would be nice. These headphones are far from hi-fi headphones, if I'm being honest. Secondly, although I did find the Beat Studio 3 comfortable at first, after wearing the headphones for about half an hour, this top band here, this material, it starts like cutting into my skull and <laughs> yeah so it, it wasn't the most comfortable for me after a long time wearing it but that's subjective you have a different skull shape to me so of course that's subjective thirdly the inbuilt microphone on the beat studio 3 it leaves a lot to be desired i did a phone call quality test with these headphones and i also did a microphone quality test with these headphones this headphone was probably one of the worst out of the bunch that I've tested. Go to my playlist, check out those videos and you'll see for yourself, you can listen to the recordings. Another thing I think that these could be a little bit less plasticky. I think that, yeah, I think they could improve the quality of the feel a little bit. It's just a little bit plasticky compared to something like these, which are Bose and Wilkins PX7s, which are a lot more luxuriously made, I think. Another thing, it could fold a little bit better as well. So you see this is how this thing folds. So it doesn't really save much space when you put it in a case. 
if you look at how the Sony X uh, 1000 XM3 is how they fold, they fold a lot better I think, they save more space. Noise cancellation could definitely be improved, like I said earlier it's not the worst but the Sony 1000 XM3 was a lot better than the Beats Studio 3. A lot better, way better. Another thing I thought was a little bit cheeky to be honest about the Beats Studio 3, two things. First of all, we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack there but if you put your headphone jack in and plug it into something, you can't actually use these headphones if they run out of battery, which is kind of pointless, I think. And the other thing is, this micro USB port here, it has to go. We're in 2021 now, it's about time USB-C was put onto headphones because it's really annoying. By the way, guys, if you want down-to-earth, honest reviews, subscribe to this channel. In my reviews, I give you 100% honest opinions about what I really think about headphones and other pieces of technology. If you don't believe me, check out my other videos and see for yourself. So when is the Beat Studio 4 coming out? Well, it's definitely sometime soon. Let's look at the history of Beats headphone releases and we can work it out. Reading from my chronology here, the Beats Solo 3, these ones here, they came out in 2016. It got refreshed in 2019 with a bunch of new colors. Then the Solo Pro, the new version of the Solo 3. So this is the old one. This is the new one. I know I've got a lot of headphones. It's kind of a headphone channel. So yeah, this thing came out in 2020. So it took four years for them to come out with the new set of headphones. Now, the Beat Studio 3 came out in September 2017. It got refreshed in 2018 with a bunch of new colors called the Skyline Collection. Also what was released was the Decade Edition at the end of the year to celebrate a decade of Beats headphones and this is what they are here. Four years on from that will make it 2021. Unless Apple's R&D got delayed because of the pandemic, the new Beat Studio 4 headphones should be out by the end of this year. Another piece of evidence for you, I've been looking at the price of these headphones for a few years now. The Beat Studio 3 got reduced in price pretty much for the first time I've seen over the last four years. It's gone down permanently now from what I can see by about £100 in the UK. In 2019, yeah in 2019 when I reviewed these headphones they were £250. Now they're about £150-£160. So basically I think Apple are starting to clear these headphones out. So the question you might have, should I wait for the Beat Studio 4 or should I just hurry up and buy the Beat Studio 3? Now if you want to have Beats headphones right away, then I would just say go for the Beat Studio 3. Try and get these on sale, try and get them used on eBay, try and find a nice clean pair or something like that. And when the Beat Studio 4 comes out, just sell them on eBay, get most of your money back and then buy the new pair of headphones and it'll probably last you another three or four years. If you can wait, you don't really care, then just wait for the Beat Studio 4 to come out. That's probably the best option. So what about if you want a different pair of headphones? What about if what I've said to you today makes you think, uh, maybe Beats aren't for me? Well, if you're after a pair of headphones around the same price range as the Beat Studio 3, then I would recommend a pair of Sennheiser Momentum 2.0s. I'll get them for you now. Now these headphones have been out for a while. I have done multiple tests with these headphones against the Beat Studio 3. I found these headphones to be better in almost every single category. Right about now, you can get these for about 100, 150 quid, about the same price as Beats. You can buy them refurbished, you can buy them used. You can also buy the Momentum 3.0, which is a new version of this, but it's over 300 quid. You know, it's a lot more money than this one. Personally, if this is better than that, then you could go for this one if you want something right now with very good audio quality. Now if you're still confused, watch my Beats videos. Go to my playlist, check out the videos there, you'll find everything you need to know. You'll see the videos where I clearly compare these to these. Also, if you have any questions or you want any advice, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I might even make a video especially for you. And subscribe. <laughs>